Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Surviving the Aftermath. We're trading Mall Town, and uh, they've finally given me something that they really want to... It's the special deal, right, to get your reputation up. Uh, canned food. Not bad. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, we're going to take and trade them a little bit of our food uh, in exchange. I'm going to give them 200 prime meat, 32 pollution, and 239 venison in exchange for 111 canned food, 306 concrete. Very big. We're, we're getting pretty short on that right now. And uh, 48 more components. And this is right before we head into our pandemic situation. Uh, so that's the trade. We're going to gain reputation with them, and uh, we'll lose a little bit of cash here, but that's fine. We have a lot. So big bump to our reputation finally with these guys. Uh, the other trade route with Lustrin, that's six hours away. So we'll hopefully have something going on with that. And the game has given me a new side quest. So before the pandemic hits, let's check that out. It's called High Rise. A rumor about a local notorious bandit leader is going around. She and her gang have taken up residence in ruins of a nearby high-rise. They've managed to gather substantial wealth, and to protect their possessions, they have fortified with uh, the lower floors. Sorry. Uh, it will be risky, but the place is big, so it might be worth the effort to try and sneak in and get a share of the goods swiftly and silently. So that's our new destination. We have a lot of specialists, so if it's close by, we could just do it now. It is. It's very close. So uh, I'm going to send somebody with some good movement. I believe Wallaby was somebody that was good. It's a scavenger, so we might be able to get some stuff. I have to kind of think about what it is, right? It's a, it's a high-rise building. You know, how, how do we scavenge things, or what, what can we go and get, right? Um, with 7 AP, I think he is a pretty good candidate to go. I don't think anybody has anything more. Yeah, so I think Wallaby's going to go to do this. Uh, scavenger is probably a good fit for this mission. So let's send him off. There's the pandemic starts. And Wallaby leaves, so we're going to have you go right here, right now. Let's go. 7 AP is enough to reach it. And so it says the high rise is definitely a lair for several dozen bandits. And the lower floors are barricaded and booby trapped to repel intruders. Despite that, the bandits have grown arrogant and lazy as their defenses have two possible entry points. We've seen this before. We can either go up with a rope or squeeze through a narrow gap. Uh, I can either repel. I, I think I might. Uh, let's try the. We did the wall last time, I think. Um, we could try to squeeze through the gap this time. Okay, so now we can only get this if I... Mm, okay. So a scientist would be for this one. Um, if I go back and return later, I can try this over again with somebody new. Or maybe try to go and repel up the top this time just to see what's up. And uh, maybe there's something better for the scavenger to do at that point. So we'll, we'll see. We can also recruit another specialist if we'd like to. This is Stella. She is a scientist. Okay. Nine attack, 100 scavenge. Not that remarkable. Uh, also fairly cheap. I can make her a settler. So let's go ahead and recruit her. And uh, we'll make you a settler right here, Stella. Uh -huh. Now the question is where, where to have you settle. Um, this here is 30 every 12 hours. This seems like a really great candidate for a lot of science. Um, the thing is, though, we're doing okay with science. I'd like to do better with getting resources instead of science you know and uh there's more fun boxes over here maybe i'll send her yeah. this way to get the fun boxes looks like i can set up the settlement right here on the third turn you got it. and this will get us more fun boxes i think that's a better call than the science at this point uh oh actually nah no i think this is the better call Yes, I actually want to go this way instead. And we can do more fun boxes over here, too. Maybe we do two. I think we do two. Mishka? Yep. I think Mishka. Two more settlers. Yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm not oriented here. Where is my... There. I think Mishka's going next. Yeah. Your command. And Mishka is going to head out this way, too. Uh, he's got a ways to go. But, I mean, honestly, if we're going to get the fun boxes all the time with, with you, then you could make it in six turns if I just get you to, like, here. Of course. All right. So, we'll have two settlers that are going to go off and do things now. And that frees us up to get even more. I like it. 
We still have plenty of people at home to help out with this too. And let's check out our medical needs really quick. This is a pandemic after all, but nobody's in the hospitals. We have antibiotics. So if anybody does get sick, uh, you know, I don't want to say great, but you know, we have antibiotics. That was the whole point of having them. Uh, and now the trade convoys arrived, so we should have gotten even more science then. We're up to 12, 16 now. Okay, so after Fortress, I think I want to... I think I'm just going to go with Governance. No, don't be tempted by the final building, okay? Be tempted more by infrastructure, right? How is our water doing, actually? Ah! <laughs> um... Hi. <laughs> Water is, uh, well, it's doing. No, it's not doing well. Uh -huh. No, but it's 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 certainly doing. Um, can I actually fit another bore well in here now? Even with that upgraded, huh? It's such a good spot for it. Like, right there. Would have loved to have had that. All right, we could put it here, I, I guess. Um, put it, like, behind this, yeah? sucks though i don't want to do that i'd rather just put it right here like we get we have to have these though we are so low on this this has to happen and it has to happen very soon um like where is the spot that i really want you to be i could go right beside this i could just be right behind this other one you can technically put these all right next to each other so maybe we just do that I'm just going to put two of them down right here. And we'll have one. We have no concrete at all, dude. And no components. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Do we have a way to get a well? A regular well, yes. Um, so let's see. Regular wells. This is 94. We'll put one here. And we'll go ahead and probably fit another one over here somewhere. Uh, this one's... Yeah, I think this will work just fine. We'll drop two wells right here. We'll say, build this next. Go. Oh, my God. That's a lot. We need to keep our animal population in check here for a little bit. So, we're going to go down to two chickens only. Yep. Two chickens. Two chickens only. Uh, we have two cattle. And we have three pigs. Let's butcher one. Let's keep our animal population in check here. Because... As soon as this is drained, they're not going to have any water anyway, right? So we got to hurry up. Uh, it might be a very good idea, I think, to build another well. Uh, sorry, another... Um, um, I don't want to do that one, though. I was going to say, I could, I could upgrade existing wells, probably. It's not nearly as meaningful as building a whole new one. So, like, we just need them to bring resources over here. Um, speaking of resources over here, I, I've um, I, I've made this road around the uh, the site here, around the Doomsday Bunker, and I've actually left space around it for decorations if we want to later. But I, I, again, I kind of wish I had put this right over here just so I could build a civilization around it. It's I'm definitely not redoing it, but that's that's where my head is anyway. I wish I had done that. Down 86 water now as we have 20. Nine people infected. Make that 42 people infected. Are you kidding me? Oh, shit. <laughs> now, we have antibiotics. Which we're going to start sucking them down like candy. But we have antibiotics. So, like, 60 people at least will get the antibiotics. And that should help them a lot faster, right? That treats them a lot faster when you have the right meds. So, see, they, they get treated very quickly. But... Oh my gosh, we're... Yeah, formal line, single file now, everyone. Um, Maybe just for the sake of... Like, just for the sake of a pandemic situation. Oh, I can't place you here. Yeah, you're... Uh, that That's in the way. Well... Eh. For the sake of a pandemic situation, I probably should just place another... One of these field hospitals over here, but... You know what? We're gonna... Oh, God, that's, that was 32, and now it's 49. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, hide. <laughs> Just, um, 
We're on holiday. We're, we're, we're not here. Okay. Everything's fine. No, 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 no. This is not a perfect time. Not a good time to panic. Okay. Just, we're we're going to be fine. Everyone's going to be... Uh, there's nowhere to put this field hospital that's near water. And I don't have the... I, I don't have water, so I can't build a new tank. Right? So, like, I could place this field hospital anywhere. But if it's not in the range of water, it won't matter. Because I do not have spare water, therefore I cannot... Like, like building this field hospital here will do nothing. It doesn't have water. And I can't build a... I, you see what I'm saying? I, unless you're confused. Uh, I cannot build a new water tank to facilitate water for it, even if I had the resources, because I have a water deficit. It will never fill it. Um, so I have to go down to the tent. There's no other alternative. It has to be a tent. And uh, we're going to place this tent, I think, temporarily. Is it going to be a temporary tent, or is it going to be a permanent tent? <laughs> I don't know. Where am I going to place you? Right here? I need medical. I guess I'll just... It'd be on top of this. I wasn't going to work this anyway, right? 69%. I probably could have worked it, but... We're going to treat this as a building that I can do right now, too. We have to get this water under control. Every single colonist that is infected will suck down more water than usual. And so you can see that that's, that's draining. Drinking water is getting drained super hard right now. The thing I don't quite understand, and maybe this is happening in the background, is how is this divided, right? So colonists drinking water, that's storage. Then there's storage for buildings, okay? Those are two very different things. So during a pandemic, do people suck down more of this water storage? I can't mouse over it, otherwise I'd show you. Um, do they suck down more water storage? Or do they suck down more water stored for buildings? Or is it like an equal thing? Because stored for buildings, it doesn't make sense that that would be affected by the pandemic. It should be water, like drinking water, right? The clean water. This should be what's being sucked down faster during a pandemic, right? I would think. Um, but I don't know that. So I kind of want to watch this because it's negative 113 is a lot, right? That's a huge deficit. It does seem to me that... Stored for buildings is going down kind of the same rate as the other one is, right? Like water storage is 55. Jesus, these people are sick. Oh, everybody's sick. <laughs> everybody's sick. What is this? Um, Is there like a, an achievement for keeping everyone alive in this kind of a situation? How we doing here, yes. Wallaby? How we doing here? You get... Uh, Settler, yes. you should keep going and doing what you're doing, because you can't help us, so... Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Wallaby's going to go up top this time. What do we have here? And we're going to pray that he finds... Oh, so you can't... Oh, you can't go, like, return and then pick a different path? Damn. All right, well, so I have to... I have to bring a scientist, then. That sucks. Okay. Uh, in that case, Pinkman found weapons, found more components, found another science location that's really good, and he found a car. Well, that's a pretty cool thing to find. Um, how is this? You can survive this. Go get those rifles. Okay. Um, yeah, so Darius, I think I'm going to send you to the map. Yep. Kind of have to do it. And I am just boned. Like, water is going to be completely depleted here. We are going to need more storage. We're going to need a lot more water storage. When this, if Whenever we, we're done with this and we survive this, hopefully we survive this. We're down to 22 antibiotics. When we survive this, um, we're going to look at, for sure, we're going to look at, um, you know, pandemic insurance. <laughs> Now we're gonna look at uh, upgrading how much water we have and how much water we're storing for situations like this. Absolutely. I don't think this is meaningful. I don't think this extra medical tent is gonna matter. Like, yeah, I might be wrong here. And, uh, you know, it's just plastic. We have quite a bit of it. I might let that finish, I guess. But I don't think it's gonna be that meaningful. How is our extra wells doing? Did we get those in? This isn't built, this one is. So we got that extra 12. I don't think this one's meaningful. I, it's not a meaningful change. 
An extra 12? I mean... If, if I cancel that and we end up having some deaths barely because of dehydration or something, just barely, then I'll feel bad. So I'm going to let it finish. Do everything I can anyway. If this pandemic ends before this is done, though, I'm canceling that. Water shortage, you think? Yeah, so it's definitely taking down the drinking water more than the stored for buildings. So it is targeting a very specific kind of storage. There it goes. It's done. Let's kill this. Uh, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep that. Oh, now there's bandits. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, game. I think this game hates me. <laughs> oh, you guys are so great. Look at you. Yay. Hi. Hi, bandits. Hey. Yeah. Cool. Look at me. Freaking, what a bunch of jerks. You know, Fortress is nearly done. Oh, my God. What if Fortress finishes? We can just upgrade it right now. It doesn't take any resources, right? Colonists die. No! <laughs> no! Died of infection! Oh no. Come on, guys! Get into the hospitals! Get into the tent quickly! Get treated! I think the fortress might finish before this is prompted. I think. Uh, special ready for action. Give me a second. I need you to go back to the camp to help out Darius. I need you to go over to the high rise. And cross our fingers and hope there's antibiotics. Grab everything you can. It's just 500 science. That's fine, though. Uh, next time, if that prompts again, go to the upper level. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Got to get your supply back. You have all of my components that I want. You are just going to keep right on going. Yep. I'm just going to keep right on going. Uh, what else we got? You? You're getting close. Yeah, you're heading this way, though. Roger. I kind of went the long way with you because I changed my mind in the middle of the trip. So, Oh, dude, I want Fortress to be done. I want it to be done so bad. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. We're going to beat it. We're going to hear that like six more times. We've made a new discovery. Fortress is done. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. It requires no no construction whatsoever. No, no materials whatsoever. Go. And it'll just be upgraded and that'll be that. Done. We have a fortress right before the raid. How does everybody's weapons? Looking good. Okay, looking good. Weapons are good. Huh? Garrett, head to the front. Shoot. Wallaby, head to the front. Inuk, head like right here. Just inside, yeah. can say right inside. And uh, that's it. So we are going to go ahead and engage these guys now with great enthusiasm and a fully decked out fortress wall. Done. Just in time. Very nice. Group of bandits have appeared at the gate, seemingly <laughs> out of thin air. Uh huh. So, uh, several skillfully camouflaged and well-armed individuals are ready and ch uh, to charge and wreak havoc on the colony. Yeah. So, guess what? I'm just gonna go ahead and let them come. So we have 22 bandits this time. Oh my god, that's a lot more than I thought there were. Dude, this fortress is still not enough. It's still not enough. I mean, it's... Okay, it's kind of enough. I think it may be barely enough. Oh, my gosh. It was so clutch. But we lost it. So, it seems like once the gate gets to 20%, it's basically zero. Did anyone else notice that? Like, it, it kind of goes down incrementally, and then it gets to 20. And as soon as it gets to 20, we stop attacking. So, I think what happens is at 20%, your people flee... Um, I say that as this guy is clearly standing on the top with a crossbow, but he doesn't have a crossbow. He has weapons. But I think what happens here is at 20%, your people flee, which causes them not to do any more damage. So it says two out of 22. So it says there are only two left alive. Clearly, um, at least from what I can tell anyway, there are at least three left alive. But um, the real question is, once they get into the camp, how many are there to kill? So let's see what this is. So there currently are three left. Even though it said two, there are currently three. We should see then that our specialists that we have near the gate, they should begin shooting the Doomsday Militia Bandits. And we should see Kensei's in attacking mode. 
Zhang is off doing whatever Zhang does. So Zhang needs to get over here and attack the Doomsday Bandits. But we should see that we're able to take them out pretty, pretty firmly now, since we also have guards at the guard post with weapons. So this should not be a difficult thing. Yeah, they are, they are dead. But because this is a fortress, it is now significantly more expensive to fix. It's going to require 80 concrete to fix this wall now, which is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, in 15 hours, we will have 300 concrete in our possession. So um, we are, of course, going to prompt this. But, like, that was a clutch, dude. 22 of them. That other gate was not going to survive. So this fortress... D despite, despite everything, this went well. <laughs> All right, so the gate is kind of... It's, it's going very slowly in its repair efforts here. Uh, we don't have any source of concrete anymore, actually. Uh, we are completely out. We just don't have it. So we're not going to have any concrete in, in our possession uh, until we get it uh, traded to us. The, the trade route has to finish. And that trade route is 12 hours away. So we've got some time here to... Yeah, to wait. Um, but I've also noticed that the sauna... Uh, sorry, the public house has 84 concrete delivered to it and it's yellow which means that it's already secured the resources it's not saying that there's um oh never mind it's red now <laughs> i need to unpause uh in any case I, I was i was looking at this going huh we have already secured it so i was thinking about uh just canceling this and letting those resources go to the gate but then i thought you know the gate is going to have the concrete delivered directly to it anyway once the trade route completes and uh to be honest like, we're not going to get raided right after getting raided. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to send another one before we can fix this. So, uh, we'll just fix it on our own time as we can. Uh, take a look at the map here. Uh -huh. We have uh, Gorky here. He's got all those components. Going. That will allow us to complete our uh, extractions, which will be nice. And uh, we've also got Darius, who just finished that quest. I was tempted to have him go over here and do this. But um, I think just to kind of help out the colony... Right? I'm going to have him just come back just in case something happens. We've been getting wrecked today, all right? Just the whole game just hates me today, so. Okay. And yep. then, uh, yeah, keep right you away. going as well. And Pinkman, you've got the weapons from this place. That's good. You're pretty low on health. I cannot get you there, but we can get this vehicle. And this vehicle moves faster than you do, so I think, actually, even though you're taking two turns to go back to this car, you probably will end up getting back home Right around the same time as you would have anyway. And he has antibiotics on him. But the pandemic is over. And we're more than I, like a super high surplus on water now too. Um, so I do not have the research that gives me bigger storage. Like the bigger barrels. So um, like I'm kind of okay with that. Generally speaking, unless it's a pandemic, we're going to have enough drinking water. But... Um, Oh, you guys, yeah, all four of you are armed now. Good. So I think, like, generally speaking, unless we have a pandemic, we're going to have enough drinking water. And uh, if we are going to have a pandemic, I could, as long as we have a good water surplus, I could drop more of these. And it's not a big deal. We did survive. Uh, the amount of water that we had was sufficient to carry us all the way to the end of the game on that. So uh, I'm thinking about dro dropping extra drinking water right here in front of this field. By thinking of, I mean I'm doing it. We're going to drop at least one more right there. With 43 components, we should see this building start to finish. And there's the construction. And this is our plastic supply. That's going to be great. We, we need the, um, the concrete supply, though, really badly. Uh, we don't have enough metal. We don't... We have enough components now, too. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to build this next. Because concrete is the big thing now. Uh, we're also going to put in a general storage facility right next to this, I think, is probably an okay idea. Um... Actually, it might might be better right here. Yeah. It might, might be better, like, right here. Uh, face it this way? Yeah, face it this way. We'll put it, like, right here. All right, and this is going to be kind of like where they're going to take the concrete over to here. So they don't have to travel super far to drop it off. You know, the carriers and stuff. So we'll, we'll do that, too. And... Uh, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and pause that, though. I want all the resources to be going here 
as fast as possible. I am now researching circuit assembly. So we're going to be able to make our own components and stuff soon uh, and electronics. And then I'm also going to skip right to mass production after that. This is automated extractors. So the big underground extractors will now no longer require people to work them. This gives us more people to do other things, uh, more happiness buildings, or just more carriers for logistics. Keeps our resource economy alive uh, a little bit better that way. Okay, so I think I'm getting pretty close to the point here where I'm going to want to start looking into building that bigger battery. And uh, part of me actually just says, like, upgrade this now. No, we don't have the components yet. Shoot, I just used them for that, of course. Never mind. Survivors are showing up at the gate. Yeah, how do you like... Uh, is it welcoming? Do you find yourself safe by what you see? <laughs> Ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Uh, at least they're not sick, you know? At least they're not sick. And they're bringing medicine. So, for injury's sake or trade and berries and stuff too. All right, come on in. We got plenty of guards, so if you try anything funny, we're gonna we'll, we'll get you. So five five colonists are homeless now. I need to build more homes. Fun times. I don't have uh, a whole lot of resources, but what I do have, honestly, probably emergency shelters at this point. I probably should just build tents. Let's try this one tenement right here on the shore. I like this actually. It's right on the. Right on the water. Tenement on the water. We'll build that too. Extra housing for people who, who really need it, right? All right, this is done, but we need to get power to it. It apparently is not connected to this. What kind of Mickey Mouse organization is this? You're not connected to that? All right, so I have to upgrade this in order to connect that. So, given metals, I should be able to accomplish that. This isn't going to be connected either. So, why don't we why don't we look at this? Let's just do this. Do this now. Do this next. That's going to kill the power for the heater here, but it's not winter, so whatever. Uh, we'll get this upgraded. That will increase it. It will definitely be in range then. And with this being out this far, I should now be able to place this little transformer right here. I should be able to trace like right next to this and it will cover it. That's yeah. And it's not like hypothetical that that should just be the way it is. Bring you that way. 47%, 45%. They're kind of gross. I'd rather not do those. Um, how's our environmental station doing? Do you have something to clear all the way out here? Huh? You know, I think I'm going to move you over. Well, hang on. Yeah, you're doing that one. I'm going to move you now, I think, all the way over to here. You can start taking care of this instead. Because this is closer to where we're going to be working. Uh, probably need another maintenance building. That would be a preferred thing, I think. So why don't we go... I can never figure out where this stuff is. Right here. Uh, we're going to place this down, I think, right behind this house. Maybe on this side of the house. Yeah. Yeah. You place this like right here next to the road so we can put bring the road up that way and maybe on the road like this that's fine and then this maintenance facility will take care of this building as well as the burial site although i don't think the burial site ever needs decontaminated yeah, I don't think it ever needs decontaminated. But at least, at the very least, I can shift this one's focus to be a little bit more this direction. That's okay. 98 concrete and storage. Let's go ahead and have this. Let's go ahead and have that unpaused. It only needs 16 concrete to be delivered. Our gate is 30 out of 42 for the repairs. So we are getting the health of our gate back. We just used all of our concrete, man. <laughs> Uh, we're about to get a bunch of people happy, though. We have a deficit of 152 on happiness. Yikes. Colonist, die. Colonist dies right as everyone lives. 
No. Recent death is down by 12. Comfortable shelter, 103. I like how everybody became happy when Ghost died. Aubrey died, and everyone became happy at the same time. Huh? Oh, no! A sandworm! Um... That's why you're dying. It's the sandworm. Um, abandon this... Abandon this post. You're not going to collect here anymore. We are going to take care of the sandworm first. In. Wallaby. Go. Your Go Garrett. Jang. Yes. And Gorky. Get over here, guys. I don't want huh? you over here anymore. Get away from the sandworm. Guys, seriously. You don't have to be a hero. Please run away. Your command. Shoot this. Yes. Shoot the stupid thing. Shoot yes. the stupid thing. Boom. Yep. Shoot it. Ready. Shoot it. All four of you get over here and shoot the stupid thing. Run away, colonists. Run away. It's dead. All right, hold on. Now we want to get the carcass. Uh -huh. Definitely want the carcass. Okay. And then we also want to, I guess, scout the rest of this area. This is the edge of the map, though. It's got to be, right? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about this anymore. Um, it might be a good idea, though. Like, see how this guard post is going to kind of help us protect against this area and stuff, right? So, it might be a good idea to get another guard post kind of out this way. But, like... I don't think it matters. This is the edge of the map, you know? I know that's a little metagamey, but yeah. What's going to go over there, you know? it's What's going to happen? I don't know. Shelter here. Okay. Our settler, sorry, not shelter. And build outpost. Give me a scavenger outpost for six of these. Yes. Okay. Done. You, What's up? settler, in here. You got it. Outpost is now. Awesome. Give me outposts for the fun boxes. Sure thing. Sweet. We are now getting a great resource. Outpost Just great is now. stream of resources coming from the map now. I love it. Pinkman's got 12 AP. Oh yeah, see, like he moves way faster than Pinkman used to move. So now we we can't, you know, scout these areas. I don't think it'll let me move in here. What? Yeah, I know. Uh, so we'll just have you come all the way back to here. It's six. I bet, like, if I do this a little bit differently on pathing, I could probably make that four turns or five turns. I mean. So we'll go there first, and then we'll have you maybe go like there next. Uh, let's see, we're getting that, getting clothing, got more rifles there, this is a heat wave happening over here, magnetic storm happening, we haven't had a magnetic storm yet, I say that, I say this at great risk to myself, but we haven't had it yet, alright, so, this is 72 out of 130 metal, we need this building up, like, this has got to happen, I wonder what I get back by tearing this building down, concrete scavenger, if I tear this down, Right now, what do I get for this? Do I get enough metals? If so, make sure that they make this build next. And hopefully they st stick the metals way over there. All right, there are 40 metals here. That's a pretty good bump. It's not enough, but it's, it's very good. Uh, it's enough to get us, certainly enough to get us this building much quicker. Because that is the only resource remaining to get this built. Uh, then the tenement, which actually we should pause that so that it doesn't rob the metals from this. And then we're also a little bit low on clothing too. Perhaps we can do something about that with a trade. So they want fuel. Um, let's give them pollution. You know, fuel is a kind of pollution, depending on the fuel. Uh, let's go about like 90 of the firewood, I guess. I say this right before winter, probably. Um, prime meat, good way to get some cash there. Let's go maybe like 140 of it. We'll get the sturdy clothing. Thank you much. And we'll get the concrete uh, at least maybe this much. We spent 80 of it on a stupid gate. And then the rest of this, I think we'll just buy with money. We have a lot of money. So let's buy that. Buy all their fun boxes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the fun boxes. Uh, do we, buy, no, we don't need to buy chickens. Uh, basic clothing components. Uh, they don't have any components, unfortunately. 
Maybe we'll give them a few potatoes. All right. Confirm that trade. And uh, I know we spent a bunch of cash there, but that's what it's for, right? What's good, what good is it if you're not going to spend it? Uh, 83 water surplus. That feels great. Let's, um, let's get a large water tower. Ooh. There is a spot where this will fit every single bu building in the area. It will treat every building in the area. I like that a lot. Drop that down. I think we're going to get another clean water storage here, too. Uh, that will treat... That will, that will serve water to the public house. Very nice. Maintenance depot is done. So let's... Um, we'll get two people working here. Expand your work area to be about, like... Say, like, this. And then your work area doesn't need to overlap that quite so much anymore. So we can move your work area to be more like... Well... Yeah, it's going to have to be like over here somewhere, right? So maybe like this. Now nobody's covering the stuff on the water, but we'll just manage that manually. Although the fishing hut does cause pollution. It would be nice to have that covered by one of you guys, right? So maybe I do just kind of dip it a little bit down like this so that you can cover the... the fisher, the fishing. What? What? Oh, is it this? Are you done? You're done. It's working. It's powered. And we are not. We have no surplus of power. Okay. I mean, we kind of saw that coming. Sort of. A little bit. Yeah. No surplus in power. How about we take some of these remaining turbines? Or one of these remaining turbines. Just pop this right here, I guess. We can place it here, but... Uh, it's right next to that building. Eh. No, I could place it... How about right behind the... Yeah, right next to this water tank. Place that down here. We have zero, zero surplus. That's so bad. All right, so we definitely need to expand power now. Because we're going to... And then and this isn't even built yet. So once this is online, we're definitely at a deficit. So... We're going to have to figure that out. Yeah. But I think that might be next time, because I only got enough time to figure that out right now. One of the colonists has been acting off lately. Yeah, she's having a hard time completing simple tasks. And even as she walks, she veers from side to side. When asked about it, she insists she's fine, when, but when pushed, she admits finding a spring. Finding a spring a few days ago from which she has been drinking. Well, yeah, she's gonna. it's contaminated water, so check the water. Yeah. She has radiation sickness, but now she knows not to drink from there. Fine. We have no iodine pills. Yikes. Okay, so that's cool. We'll just treat everyone the slow way. Six people are radiated and no iodine pills. Fun times. We'll continue these fun times um, next time because I think I'm at my time limit today. Yeah, more water coming in. We got our butt kicked today. That was fun. Uh, we should see, with metal production anyway, we should start seeing this, the public house work. And that will provide 40 entertainment, which is not enough. We still have four people homeless, working on it. Um, we still have the concrete extractor, which is going to go down, and we do not have a power surplus. So we have a lot of, there's a lot of stuff that needs done. I think the power surplus is probably more important than everything else. So let's just get that done too. Uh, and I gotta go. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope you'll join me for the next one. Bye-bye.